good morning, good afternoon, and or good night whenever you are finding the time to watch this video. Thank you guys for coming back to my channel. This is Fran Plans, and in this video, I'm going to do just a budget recap for the week. It's Saturday. I am My plan is to always do a budget recap probably Saturdays or Sunday morning or afternoon before, you know, the new week starts. So let's jump right into it. If you guys do not know, I kind of Frankenstein my happy planner to be, um, it's partly budget, meal plan, and wellness. So, um, but because I'm doing the budget, we're just going to stick to the financial side of this planner. So let's go right into it. Um, and if you guys have questions about anything you see, please let, uh, list it in the comments box. So this is, let me turn to the month view, which is my go-to. All right, guys. So we are finishing up this week right here. We are on uh, January 13th. Can you guys believe it? We're already almost halfway through. So, and by the way, happy MLK weekend. So, um, you know what, guys? This has been going great for me. It looks like chicken scratch, but this has been working out like a charm. Um, I went ahead and did all my totals for this week. Everything is checking out great. Everything is on schedule for me to have uh, my second credit card paid off. As you guys don't know, I have three credit cards three credit cards that I'm paying off. One is already paid off, as you can see right here. Paid off, capital one. Pay that baby off, first of the year. So my second one is my, I have two first premier credit cards and balances are right at like 800, maybe a thousand. Um, I have to look, I can look in here, it's in here. Um, but I am on track to have the second one paid off. This is the one of two payments that will pay that baby off. So that is going to be on the 22nd. And then the next one I already have in my book set up for the 4th of February. So that's that. That is my little um, excite, excitement part of this video as to how this is working so far as far as budgeting and paying off things and just staying on track. So um, we got paid on the 5th. Um, we kind of front loaded the month. I think I mentioned this in the last video, had a lot of bills come out um, for house stuff. We helped my mom out a lot. So a lot of things came out, you know, the first week. And then we're kind of coasting in the middle of the week, middle of the month. And then really on the next paycheck, we don't have a lot coming out, which is great because um, we are sticking to, I'll show you guys. We are sticking to, um, we have two sinking funds set up. Uh, sinking funds is where you're where you're saving for something that you know like an expected um, an expected expense, um, but you're putting money into it so that it's not basically a surprise. So basically, like a Christmas account, or if you're going on a trip, you know you're saving out of every pay period pretty much to build up to have that money already set aside. So we're on track for the first sink the second sinking fund. So fifty dollars this month, probably be a little bit more um, once the next pay period comes around. But this is what I am expected to have in there every month. And then the other sinking funds is on track as well. So that is going great. I have a list of the things that I am paying off this year. For the first quarter, I am just doing these top things here. And like I said, I already have a check mark by that first credit card. So back to the budget recap though. And then my husband and I, we are doing this $5,000 in a year. Um, and we are on track with that. So um, so that, that's, that's in our, um, other savings accounts. We have three savings accounts going right now, which is working out. I know it sounds crazy, but you have to do what works for you. So you and your family or just you by yourself. Um, so yeah, like I said, we front loaded the month, um, that worked out great. Next pay period is going to be on the 19th. Um, we have a few bills that are already listed. This one is going to come out before that pay period. This is my, our training bill at the gym. And then we have a water delivery that's going to come out on payday. Um, what do I have there? Oh, yeah. So that's that. And then we have our savings that we're setting up to go in the big account already set to the side. So and we're doing like we split it 50-50 um, to match what. Um, but let me show you guys. So sorry about that. I should have. I just had it. But just to be transparent, so this is five thousand in a year. So basically, my husband and I are splitting those amounts, you know, together. So you know, twenty dollars we're doing ten a piece, thirty five, and you do this every week. 
So we're just splitting it. So I just put my little um, amounts there to remind myself and to remind my husband. So that's that. Um, <laughs> um, here, this little sticker, I haven't filled it in. This is going to be... So I'm snowballing these debts that I'm paying off. So this is going to be the minimum balance that's for the third credit card. So I'm continuing with the minimum balance, but I am like going crazy um, with the other one. I'm going way over the minimum balance. So I'm snowballing that. And then once this is paid off, the same amount of money that I was putting towards this, I'm now putting towards that third card to basically just attack it like a virus. Um, so that is that. Um, like I said, we get paid on uh, paydays on the 19th. We will be set up for that. If you guys do not know, I am also planning a trip for my husband. Um, I've been planning this trip uh, for about four months now, and he has no clue. His birthday is on the 29th, and I'm surprising him with a little weekend getaway. So, um, you know, a little fun in the mix. Um, I still budgeted that out, which is like crazy. I, I've always been like, like I, I've, I've said it in my other videos. I try to be like, I try to budget all the time. I've never been this aggressive, which is it's almost refreshing because it feels so good to be in control of your money and your money not controlling you. Um, but I have actually budgeted out the whole trip, which is like crazy, but it's awesome. And I feel so prepared to go into this. And of course I'm leaving wiggle room because it is a trip and things do happen. Um, but I just wanted to throw that out there, you know? So, um, it, it looks really light the end of the month here, but we are going on a little weekend getaway and that'll be fun. And, you know, but I went ahead and one thing that I like to do when I know payday is coming up, I like to sit down with a little scratch piece of paper, write down everything that I know is going to be coming out, um, total that up and write down what the amount is left. And this is not even including my husband's paycheck. So, you know, I'm trying to total out everything that will be needed for the next paycheck um, and that way I'm prepared. So then, I, you know, going on this little weekend getaway, I kind of know what I'm working with as well. But, you know, get back into the recap for the week. Everything has been going smooth. You guys didn't catch my other video. I did the cash envelopes. Um, that is also listed here on my channel where I basically pull out, go to the ATM, pull out cash, put that in envelopes that I keep in my planner for beauty, gas, grocery. And that kind of, that gets us through the two week period. Um, and I will be doing that video next week as well. Um, cause I'll be going to the ATM and I'll have cash. So that'll be that. But, um, everything is looking great for the week. Um, I went ahead and set up for next week. Um, so this is my layout. Um, and I've just been shopping my stash as far as my stickers to, um, you know, stay on track. So it's Martin Luther King birthday. Of course, we got to keep that in there. I used one of the stickers where it says, beware of little expenses. A small leak will sink a great ship by Benjamin Franklin. Um, I put down a sticker here to keep track of any weekly expenses. I am on a no spin, so I don't expect these figures to be big at all. Um, um, I went ahead and put down my sticker for personal training. That's going to come out on the 17th. We have our water delivery service. That's going to come out on the 19th. And once, once again, I said payday is also the 19th. Um, I have my sticker in here to remind myself to do my budget recap. I have my sticker in here to remind myself to set up my planner for the next week, especially by um, the trip being, you know, coming up really quick after that. I also put in here a sticker to remind myself of the money that needs to come out of the ATM to set up for my cash envelope. So when I do that video, I will be using this here as a guide. Groceries, I'm going to pull out $100. Mind you, it's just my husband and I. And with meal planning, I always do a grocery inventory where I go into the kitchen, look in the freezer, the refrigerator, and the pantry to see what we already have. And then I plan the grocery trip around that so that we're not buying stuff that we already have and wasting food. Um, pull out the money for the gas, my beauty, my nails, my eyebrows. You know, every woman needs her, every man too. Men and women, we need our self-care expenses. Uh, entertainment, I'm going to pull out 25. Household products, 30. And then our cat, I try to keep an envelope for her, which I'm going to add to my envelopes because I did not add that. And um, that was kind of funny. I was looking at my baby like, oh, I forgot your food. So uh, I have to add an envelope for the cat. And then I have the piggy bank there to remind myself that we need to put, um, it's going to be 40 
I forgot what's going to be for next week. I think it's for, yeah, 45 into the big savings account. Um, so that's that. So this is the layoff for next week. Not a lot going on, which is great. Um, the following week will be a little bit more busy, which is fine. But it's good to have a, a week where you don't have money c coming out of the woodwork. So that is that. That's the budget recap for right now. Everything seems to be going really great. Um, the stickers. Um, this is from Golden Plans Company. A lot of these are from the Happy Planner um, sticker collections. These are from Simply Me Kish. I will put those down in the... Uh, description box. These are just shopping my stash stickers. I have no clue where this is from. I had it and I used it. I'm, I'm so sorry, guys. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys have any questions, sorry to keep saying um, but if you have any questions, please leave them below and I will be sure to respond. Um, thank you guys for watching this video and I will be talking with you guys later. Bye.